Hello and welcome to Goff Legal. My name is Allie Goff. I'm the owner and founder. And today we're going to chat about the probate process and how to avoid it. Most people don't like the word probate. It is scary. I get it. Because it is scary. It's kind of awful, actually. Not only is the probate process in California time consuming and fairly expensive, it is public, right? The information, we have to go to court. We have to file a lot of information with the court about the decedent, their family members, their family members' addresses, a list of their assets, literally a list of all of their assets and the value associated with them, a list of all their creditors, their debts. And if things get messy, a whole slew of family information that people probably don't want public. Most people don't know that we publish in the newspaper several times before the hearing that there's going to be a hearing. You always wonder if you're doing this probate thing and you start getting phone calls from businesses saying, hey, we'd like to help you with this. And you go, how the heck did they get my information? They comb the websites of the courts, find out who's filing for probate, pull the information, which is public record, and start spamming you. Wonderful, right? Nope. Nobody likes that. It's not fun. Uh, the probate process takes about a year or more, sometimes two. Uh, courts are setting out hearings months and months out, so it takes a really long time to get the process started. Then after you get authority, you have to wait four months for creditors to come forward, whether there are creditors or not. And then after that four months, you're allowed to petition the court to say, I'm done. That's assuming you are done. You may have had to sell, sell real estate, collect assets. We've had probates where we were ready to go, but a bank or a financial institution refused to hand over the funds despite the fact that we had a court order. And it took months of fighting with them to finally get that done. Really, really frustrating. And then when you do file, you have to wait another few months to get a hearing and hope that your 30 page petition is granted and wasn't missing anything because those things have a lot of information in them. You also hope that nobody's contesting it. And you also had to provide an accounting of every single transaction that was done during your time as administrator or executor from the beginning to the end publicly. The entire world, if they wanted, could see that information. Most people don't care. Uh, most people don't want their public that information to be in the public essentially forever. So that's the probate process. How do we avoid it? So first is have a joint owner on your accounts. Easy. You are married. You own an account together. You die, goes to your spouse, vice versa. Easy peasy. Now let's say you have a trust. The best way to avoid probate and to make sure that your money makes it to your actual beneficiaries when you're both gone, let's assume you're married, is to put that bank account into your trust. Very important. Not super hard to do, a little irritating, admittedly. You will go into the bank, you will give them the certification of trust that's in your binder, and you will say, I would like to put my accounts in trust. They should fill out some paperwork, have you sign some things, and now your bank accounts are in trust. How do you know? When you go online or you download a statement, it will say your name, TTE or trustee of the so-and-so family trust or so fam tur and they'll have a date or something, right? So those indications are that the accounts are in trust. Easy. And you'll have to do it once. Once you put your account in trust, you don't have to go back and do it again, right? The other way to get stuff into your trust to avoid probate is to name it as a beneficiary designation. Let's say you have a bank that is causing you troubles and doesn't want to put your stuff in trust and you don't really want to fight with them or call an attorney to tell them why they're wrong, which they are wrong, by the way. One way to avoid the big old fight is to name the trust as the beneficiary of that account. So it'll go to the joint owner or whoever the owner is on there during their life and after they're both gone, then it will pass over to the trust. That avoids probate and our trusts mostly don't go through probate so we've therefore avoided probate for that particular account. Real estate, this one's fun and pretty easy for us to do. You need to retitle the house from your name as an individual into your name as trustee of your trust. If you've hired my office to do your estate plan, we have done that for you already. If you went online and got your trust done, 
they did not do that for you. You need to go and get your trust name put on your deed. Otherwise it's not in trust and that house will go through probate, right? Back into that system that we're trying to avoid. Businesses, if you have a business and it's worth a significant amount of money, meaning closer to over $180,000, contact your business attorney and make sure that they know you have a trust and that you want your shares to be assigned or reassigned or issued stocks in the name of the trust. Or if you have an LLC or membership interest would be assigned to the trust. I say go to the business attorney because some business formation documents, entity governing documents have provisions that will avoid probate. But I will tell you right now, if you look at your documents and it says on so-and-so's death, the money goes to their, and if you see the word estate, that is probate. You're jumping back over to probate again. So anything, that's just my last tip before we move on to something else. My last tip is if you see the word estate anywhere listed as a beneficiary, right, in a document, that means probate. You don't want anything to say the estate. You want it to say your trust, right? You could also say your beneficiaries, but for today's purposes, we're talking about funding your trust to avoid probate. I think that's all I've got for you today. If you have questions, you can check out our website, gothlegal.com, and go fund your trust so you can avoid probate.